A pregnant Meghan Markle tonight addressed a carol concert to remember a close friend of her husband Harry who was killed as a teenager. The event, at St. Luke's Church just off the King's Road in Chelsea, southwest London, was organized by the Henry Van Straubenzi Memorial Fund. This was set up shortly after the 18-year-old died in a car crash in 2002. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were spotted leaving the church by a side door, before getting into a car that was parked outside in the rain. Earlier, Pippa Middleton arrived at the service with her partner, James Matthews. She opted for a £295 dress by favorite designer Kate Spade. Pippa wore a long-sleeved navy frock, which fell just below the knee, and featured a playful all-over fox print in a warming shade of burgundy. The new mother wore the dress under a wine-colored knee-length coat with a fur effect collar and finished the look with navy suede pumps and a navy crossbody bag. The service was attended by many friends of the princes, several of whom Harry has not seen since becoming engaged to Meghan. Harry wore an open-collar white shirt and a dark suit, and seemed relaxed while he addressed old friends and guests. The service started with once in Royal David City, O Holy Night, onto O Little Town of Bethlehem, the first Noel and finished with Hark the Herald Angels Sing. A choir of young boys and a girl dressed all in white stood outside the church before guests filed in through the 20-foot courtyard where staff had set up two large tables full of red and white wine. Harry and Meghan had entered through a back door of the church in West London, unbeknown to royal fans who waited outside. James and Pippa Middleton arrived just before the start time of 7 p.m. The inside of the church had large Christmas trees covered in white lights, while an usher dressed all in black guarded the front door. A guest at the service told Mail Online, it was one of the best. Another woman said, Megan spoke very clearly, it was a fantastic service. They were both great. In a forward letter, Prince William wrote, my brother and I are proud to have been patrons of the Henry Van Straubenzi Memorial Fund since it was established in 2007. Back in 2009, it was suggested that a Christmas carol service could be held to boost funds for projects in Uganda. This year marks the 10th annual carol service and, thanks to the support is given each year by many of you here tonight, the tickets have sold out everywhere within two weeks of going on sale. Since its inception, the mission of the charity has remained the same to improve the quality of schools in impoverished rural Uganda by investing in buildings and resources. Harry and William remain close friends with the surviving Van Straubenzi brothers, with both attending the 2013 wedding of Thomas Van Straubenzi. Prince Harry once described Henry as a Poles earth surfing legend and ladies man with whom we shared so many special memories. He died instantly when a car in which he was a passenger hit a tree outside Ludge Grove Preschool in Berkshire, where he and the princes were once pupils. Henry was a classmate of Prince Harry's, while his older brother Thomas was a friend of the Duke of Cambridge. The foursome were said to be inseparable as they were growing up. The foundation set up in his name is currently helping more than 28,000 children across 40 nursery, primary and secondary schools in Uganda.